You've got your image ready for the World Wide Web. Got your colors just where you want them to be. The next step would be to save it. Well, there's a lot involved in saving it. It's not just clicking a button. And let's make another consideration here. Why not slice the image? Say for what purpose? There are a lot of purposes for slicing images. Everything from mapping to efficiency to security. But what you're doing when you slice an image is you're cutting it up into pieces. Most studies show that the internet can process smaller packets of information on a more efficient basis than one large one. So let's do the math here. Let's say this image is exactly 100K and we cut it into four pieces. And each piece is 25K. So the sum of the parts is equal to the whole. Now that typically wouldn't happen, but let's pretend. So you've got four 25K pieces that equal 100 and you got one 100. According to most studies, the four pieces will get there first. The internet handles large information less efficiently than smaller pieces. And that's one reason. I also talked about security. I do get tired of people taking the images off of my website and putting them on theirs. If I slice the image, it's just that much more difficult for them to get all the pieces and reassemble them and then claim it's their image. Another reason is what I call mapping. Because if you have a slice, you can actually do things like create an interactive link out of that slice, which we'll actually do in the next segment. Let's do this. Pick up your selection tool and come up here and grab a ruler guide. And we're going to put some guides around this thing, defining the boundaries. That's just going to help me when I begin doing the slices. Okay, so point one, add the guides. Point two, Come over here and add two more guides on where you want the slices to be. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go down and I'm not going to make these even. Okay, I'm going to put this one right above this area right here, right above his head. And I'm going to do another one this way, but I'm going to avoid all that detail and get into this wide open space over here. So I've got these four areas. Each one of those will be a slice. Pick up your slice tool. It's right here. It's actually two tools, slice tool and select tool. Slice tool, we'll get up in this corner. We will snap to the guide, so that's going to help us. Click and drag to make your first slice. Snap, snap. There's the first one. Come over here, do the same thing. Doesn't matter really which corner you start in. A lot of times I go to the center right here and drag up. Wait till it snaps on you. We'll do another one here. And come down. And that was easy. Do one more. This is all we need, these four. Now that we have the four slices, we're ready to go to the next step. Let's go ahead and come up here to the word file and go down on the pull down menu to save for web and devices. When you get into save for web and devices, what you've got is the slices that we did. There they are, all four of them. Each one can be controlled independently. For example, these are all PNGs right now. What I want to do is I'm going to shift click and select all four to make this easier. They're all four selected. And I'm going to go up to the word PNG 24 up here. I've got some presets if I want to use those. We'll start with just basically a GIF. So now they're all changed into the GIF format. If I click them one at a time, as you can see, I can select them. Let's make that a little bit bigger because I want you to see something here. All right, here's the four slices. These don't have a lot up there. Lots of blank area and actually just one color. That's all that's up there. These have more colors. When I'm talking efficiency, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying you might be able to compress one slice a whole lot more than another slice, which means that the sum of the parts might actually be less than if it were a whole. Up here, we've got this area. We've got only eight colors in that area, and it looks fine. But if we click here, we can go maybe four. Still looks okay to me. If this area is on eight, let's make that four. Now, these areas down here have more stuff. Eight might not be enough. You might want to go maybe to 16 on these, or even more. You can see it does make a difference. But then I'm going to match up this other side so it works that way too. When you slice an image, it gives you the ability to look at each one of these areas and do the best compression on each one. So don't make your slices exactly just one-fourth of each one. 
Slice it in areas where you think you can get away with less compression. That's how this works. Now, once they're all done, which they are, let's assume they are, we can click the Save button up here. When you save the document, you have a choice between creating an HTML document along with the images. I almost never do the HTML document because I use this in Dreamweaver. I don't need the HTML. Dreamweaver is going to do that for me. I just need the images. What it will do is it will create a folder and put those images within that folder. We do want all the slices, not just the user slices. We want all the ones that we made. You click Save. We come out here, and there's a folder called Images. You double click. Now don't worry about that numbering sequence. That's based on the grid that made the actual slices. Three, four, six, and seven. That's fine. You can change the names later. And we basically have the four pieces that make up our image. There you go. Slicing an image for efficiency and for a lot of other reasons.